Wakey, wakey, everyone. It's another fabulous day in Wellington Wells. The weather is only slightly rainy with streaks of lovely sunshine. Hey, everybody, welcome back to We Happy Few. Uh, we're going to check out this mystery chest and then we're going to uh, Miss Bing's estate. Uh, this is the first video I've recorded since I returned from my trip. Uh, so it's like, it's weird because I haven't played in like two, almost, almost two weeks, which is pretty insane. For you guys, it's not much of a difference, but. I mean, I've been excited, I've been thinking about this um, since I left and like really wanted to get back into all these stories. So uh, let's go ahead and hit up the uh, glucose syringe here. And maybe we'll eat some jerky, actually. That kind of screw that kind of screws up our blood sugar a little bit, but At it could be worse. It could be worse. I don't have to wear that mask. Okay, so we've got the chest to check out, and I don't know if this will be a persistent thing. I also don't know. Ugh, these guys are all gonna freak out if I do this, aren't they? Remember bread? They're all Remember gonna lose bread. their marbles. I wonder if I like to me. You guys should all go check that out. <laughs> I guess that kind of works. Nope. Jesus. What did I get? Just money? Now we knew this was going to happen. Jesus. I'm a lover, not a fighter. Let's go. Okay. So from here, we want to go to Bing's estate, which is like way down in this area. So we'll set like a... I guess it'll show us, but... I need these guys to chill out a little bit. We could beat them all down, but the whole town, really? I don't know if that's quite necessary. All right, we're good. Welcome, <laughs> welcome back. Everybody wants to kill you. Cool. So yeah, uh, I've been, I've been really thinking a lot about the way that this could shake down with Ollie and been reminiscing about my time with Sally and obviously mm. Arthur um <laughs> Sally the uh, the whole knockout syringe thing I ended up like I wasn't able to find it I think we actually did have the ability to craft it um but I just couldn't see it for whatever reason but I kind of liked the path that we ended up taking with that pituitary extractor it made me feel like significantly more badass than a knockout syringe would have so I actually don't feel too bad about it. Oh, hold on. We could see everything as it is. The Duke's a very sympathetic practice. You feel any tension, if there is any tension, they hit it pretty well. Jenny Keene and the Duke's manager is very well, since we're ready. Unfortunately, not a code. Unfortunately, not a code. So all of these places we recognize were good here. I do want to keep an eye out for, like, other potential things we might run into, like... The apple tree being marked. Is there going to be any differences here? <laughs> you oughtn't take people's things. Yeah, you're probably right. No dice and no bobbies. Hmm. Maybe we'll check this out later. So I thought I would maybe ask you guys, since uh, I feel like we're getting, I mean, we probably still have a little bit left of Ollie's um, act here, but if you guys have any suggestions for upcoming releases that you guys are interested in, uh, now would be a good time to start letting me know what those are, and uh, I can try and get some of that ready. Well, what, 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 what's her problem there? Um. I know some of the Horizon are like, uh, people are talking about like Spider-Man and stuff like that. 
And I think I'd, that'd be pretty interesting to check out. But if you guys have other ones that are coming out that I might not know about, let me know. Okay, here we go. Ollie Starkey. <laughs> you damn right. Oh, yeah, your house fell down. <laughs> let me guess. <laughs> A bottle of the usual. Much as I enjoy our quotidian transactions, I'm afraid I'm in need quotidian. less of a distillation and more of a ratiocination. Oh, fuck up with the word of the day. Can we just open <laughs> the gate for once? I could, but I won't. There is a mystery that confounds the best minds of the constabulary. A pomacious puzzle, if you will. This guy's good. Last night, there was unexpected morbidity at the apple tree. A malevolence at the Marlis Pomila, so to speak. <laughs> Someone died That's last convenient. night at the apple tree. Find out how and why. And this bridge opens up to you like a rose in summer. Is that the guy's body that we just searched? Okay. That's actually really funny that we went to that. I'm good. I'm good. I won't run. Jeez. Savages here. They're still watching me. Look at her. <laughs> They're like all over us. What's going on here? What have I done, Reg? I didn't think you'd hear me. You're always such a sound sleeper. Oh no. I just meant to sneak out with the map and then I pretend someone else must have dug it up. But you had to wake up, didn't you? Oh. And go off like you always do. I didn't mean to hit you that hard, Reg. I was just scared. You're scary, you know that. Everyone's scared of you. Remember when I told you? I was the only one not scared of you. That was a lie. I was the one who was the most scared of you. Scared of what you do. Scared you might turn to me one day. What am I gonna do without you? Jesus. What am I gonna do? I'm sorry, Rich. Please forgive me. Please. I'd apologize when we met in heaven, but. What's the odds either of us are ever going to end up there? Jeez, Ronnie. Oh, forgive me. Please forgive me. Accidentally a killed his buddy. heart may be under a poor coat. Stay where I could see you. <laughs> no one likes a lurker. Uh, whoops. Oh, shit. Well, okay. He did murder someone. <laughs> oh, that really takes it out of your shoulders. <laughs> so cute. So just cas just a casual murder. No big deal. Where's that dig spot? Do we even have a shovel, actually? I feel like we might not. Oh, I do. I do. I do. I do. I'm good. Okay, so we have the chest. We've got the tree. And then dig spots are actually down here. All right, we're good. I'm all about getting into some sleuthy business here. So if they're going to give us like a little riddle or some clues to figure things out, that'll be really cool. We saw the body. I'm not sure which is worse. Knowing you could have done things differently or knowing you couldn't. I didn't see this before. Uh, let me see if I have any water. Yeah, there we go. I wonder if it this happened is at night, not there before. But they're not wearing the gas masks. Why would they cast them off? You were definitely yeah, not here. They're dead. Let's file a <laughs> report. You won't get past the Bobby without details. Who killed them? And how and why? She's right. Fine. I was just trying to protect your delicate sensibilities. I am dead, Ollie. The gate's now locked, but someone brought a chain and his own lock. Someone locked them in. Well, who is that someone? Yeah, okay, so we couldn't pick this before. Fair enough. We would have destroyed this crime scene before we even had a chance. Since when do you care about bobbies? Forget the bobbies. The tree! She's not going to produce fruit in a state she's in. Ollie, you not hear about a murdered tree? It's not the Blights killed her. Something else. Okay, so 
Examine the gas mask. Look for murder weapon. Look for a motive. Why are there gas masks on the ground? Maybe there's a clue somewhere around here. I'm supposed to leave no stone unturned. What do you think killed them? They didn't seem to be all bloody or anything. What about that shovel? Fertilizer. Not the murder weapon. Depleted gas bomb. Smells like mustard. Oh dear God, tell me no one's got mustard gas bombs. That's a nasty way to die. Not that there are many <laughs> cheery ones. Oh, that's particularly that's terrible. We just need the why and the who. Oh, maybe you'd like to wake the dead and ask them your questions. The dead Can say you do that? no stone unturned. Really? Of course not. If I could talk to the dead, I'd just ask them who murdered them. No stone or stone cold Bobby. Okay, so we gotta flip this these is dudes. Our dead tree now. Are you Fuck serious? Off. Tad bit territorial, aren't we? You can't oh, God. Merry Christmas, you no! Jeez, he hit so hard. Maybe we shouldn't be moving them. Oh, I did it, Ken. If you're pissing off your enemies, you're probably doing something right. <laughs> I love that outlook. Let's heal up a little bit here. This one's buggered. I think someone shoved an ice pick through the filter. An ice pick? This one protect you against the ferret's fart. Now, he was... Oh, cryptic note. Here we I'm go. I'm afraid you've come to the end of your time. Hmm? What the hell does that mean? Aside from the obvious. Come to the end of their time. Mustard gas. Uh, there must be more masks I need to find here. Importance of not being seen. Some fine linens. Thank you. Are there more? Let me just check around the outskirts here. Just passing through. Yeah, there's another one to the right here. Fuck it again. So, what is what ended up happening? Now I can tell about the Salonka Bridge. What happened? And he'll bloody have to let me through. Okay. We're just going to wing it on the spot when we get there, aren't we? I've got it. She's like, you have no clue what you've gotten. <laughs> and she's right. She is absolutely correct. I wish I could hotkey things like the bigger bangers and stuff. Instead of having to cycle through there. It was funny, um, so on this trip that I was on, it was actually with Sam from Compulsion Games, and I kept bugging him about the rolling pin situation, how, like, I've collected about 200 rolling pins, but they're all, like, par parts of a rolling pin. I've never actually had, like, a full rolling pin, so I couldn't craft some of the cooler stuff. <laughs> and, uh, I won't tell you what his... Are you serious? I won't tell you what his response was, but it was pretty funny, and, uh, it was a good joke for most of the trip, so... Got a good laugh out of it. Have you got some answers for me? It appears your lads were lured and locked into the apple tree's private park. Someone tossed in mustard gas. They choked to death. But all the constables are equipped with... The masks were tampered with. They were but faulty. Who? And why? It appears they'd come to the end of their time. Foggy, Jack. That sounds familiar. <laughs> Don't you tell anyone. There'd be a panic. Well, on your trolley. Don't forget to pop a joy before you hit the revolver. I'm afraid we've come to the end of our time. Okay, do I have any, uh, I do have a joy pill. I don't have any sunshine. Please stay in the circle, sir. Alright. 
people take joy on purpose. Guess so. Yum. Okay, thanks guys. That was great. Is this gonna force me to eat one? I'd rather now, not. Try to behave whilst. Yeah. Oh, I'm just barfing on people. <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't do this to me, guys. This is this was not the plan. See, like, everyone's going to be freaking out on us because of the way that we're dressed, but we don't have another option. So, getting in here could be a little bit terrifying. Have anything good to eat? Jeez. Look how long that lasts. Like, we really don't want to have to take Joy as Ollie. So maybe if we can, we can buy some sunshine pills or something. That would be ideal. I hope this isn't one of those scenarios where I can't get through. But I fear for the worst. Come on now. All right. Okay, okay, okay. Yep, no. I don't seek. She had an haircut. I don't know what that was about. I think these guys just don't like me, period, if I'm not mistaken. Like how I'm dressed? Dangerous Turing Traps. I don't know that we have any... Okay, we have short spikes. <sighs> oh, Jesus. She didn't see us. Let's take what we can. Now, how far do we want to push it? That's the real question. Because if we go upstairs and she starts freaking out... Oh, Jesus. Yep, I think we're good. You frighten me off to death, Shit, that? shit, shit. The criers? Oh, no! Oh, this is going to be nuts. Breathe, Ollie. Look how many there are! Oh, this is bad. Yeah, so the fact that we only have this one outfit here is actually terrifying. I don't know if we'll ever get to change. Or not. But... We could make the argument that being out at night is a little bit better. Um, these guys, we still have to kind of dodge around. But we'll look at some of our upgrades in a second here and see if there's anything that might help us. Okay, hold on. Okay, so... Survival. Is there anything in here? Iron stomach. No, okay. And then in these sides, there's really, like, this is all combat stuff. Shop prices, can take joy without throwing up. No negative effects from thirst, hunger, etc. Fancy things. Craftsmen. Yeah, so I think that's just going to be how it is. Like, this is it. It's just, they're just not going to like us. So. 
It's gonna be a bit tough. Let's go here. We take less damage from most things. And well time block with the weapon can knock your enemy down. Could be pretty good. And do we have enough for this as well? No. Okay, so let's keep saving. I may just have to gun it. What happened to your outfit? Faked him out. <laughs> oh, I've got this one to deal with though. Jesus. See, like some of the. Oh boy. Yep. Here we go. Right. No more, Mister Nice Guy. Right. Holy hell. Well. This is gonna hurt. Can I knock it in? Holy shit balls. Look at this. This is ridiculous. Wow. So how am I gonna get there? Maybe I should try. Maybe I should try and wait till nighttime here because this is actually insane. And then I've got those joy detectors I'm gonna have to deal with, but they they don't like me because of my appearance anyway. So. And I don't think I have, like, a better way of getting in there. Looks like there was a front gate, but... By the same token... I didn't- I didn't see that I could open it when I was running past there. Oh, there's a shady dealer back here. Which could be kind of interesting for us. It's not bloody Halloween! <clears throat> It, man, it's really too bad that we can't change. Makes decent... I can't just, like, go naked. Oh, that's too bad. Hi! There ain't no way to dress around here! Are you serious? Well... Nobody threatens me in my back alley. Our own wee bannock burn. Anybody else want to try their luck? I can't even rest back here. Where are you going in such a hurry? What's that? What is this place? Where did you go? What is this? Oh, this is the Jacko Bean Club. I just can't understand how these guys just chase us everywhere. Is that Shady Dealer back here? Hmm. Okay. And I can't really- oh, you know what, maybe I can rest here. Let's see. I'm just worried that people are gonna attack me on this bench, but... Okay, it actually seems alright. Let's go another, um, two hours here. Okay, let's get some water going. Maybe some... I don't have any healing. And I don't think I can even make... Can I make any, um... Oh yeah, we can at least. Okay. 
glucose. Now, how in the hell am I going to make this happen? Let's get rid of this. I don't want to be distracted. So if I go right, and then left. Don't you know shit. Holy moly! They're not gonna like this. I'm in. We tricked them, boys. I'm long gone. In combat still. Who's chasing me still? Oh, whoever that is. Whew. That was something. Ollie, I didn't ask you here, did I? If you take enough jewelry, sometimes one forgets the silliest things. People in town are getting a tad bit skinny. I think they're starving to death. And they're painting the streets in fucking rainbows. Have you not noticed? Have you had your joy, Ollie? Why are you all wearing those ridiculous new masks? You should get one. They shape your face into a smile. Oh, they're so and when great. when you smile, you can't help being happy. You were kind to me, even when I got confused. I had no one else to turn to. Oh, Ollie. We have to tell people. They need to know the truth. No, Ollie. People do not need to know the truth. Truth is the enemy of happiness. Isn't that the decision we all made? Oh, but you know the truth, don't you? There's not a thing I can tell you that you don't already know, is there? No. It's better not to know. You, of all people, should understand that. I'm truly sorry about this, Miss Bing. Uh oh. Help! Oh! Oh! Okay. Is this some sort of silly prank? When I left, oh the look, village, he took the I mask off. You people knew what you were doing. Turns out. Well, I've been keeping to myself. I have a pillbox in my kitchen. Would you mind terribly bringing me my joy? Not a chance. Oh, no. I can't. Please, Ollie. You were never cruel. I'm a soldier, ma'am. They teach you to be cruel. I need to see the executive committee. They won't listen. You'll only upset them, and then they'll take... More joy and forget. They don't want the whole truth. No one wants the whole truth. You know what, Miss Bing? I'll come back. I'll come back when you're in your right mind. No. Jeez. You can't. This is please. basically like. I, I'll take you. Taking an take addict off their drugs I'll and saying bye. Anything, just without please. any guidance Give or support. Give me my joy. I need my joy. Why won't you give me my joy? Sure, I'll go get it for you right away. Now, where would a woman stash her joy? I'm afraid joy is after my time. What? That's so weird because she was like, it's in the kitchen. And then we were like, we're not going to do that. 
<laughs> and then now we are? Okay, hold on. What's going on here? Um, maybe she'll listen to me. I better make sure she can't get her hands on them or she'll just stay stoned out of her mind. Okay, fine. Uh, murder scene note. I'm afraid to come to the end of your time. In which Oliver improvises. In which Oliver does the first thing that pops into his head. Oliver had never been one of those people, like ministers in the general, who could talk to anyone about anything and sound fascinated. So he ought to have guessed that his conversation with Myth Victoria was going to go badly. But he was it was not really his fault. Their conversation went badly because Miss Victoria was off her head. Indeed, none of the regular people of Wellington Wells was in his right mind. Uh, many of them had not seen the insides of their right mind since 1952. That was the year everyone decided that everyone had to take Joy every day. Joy did not really make the wellies happy, as far as Oliver knew. Made them forget a wee bit, and that made them a wee bit less sad. But Oliver suspected that they had not really forgotten all the sad things. They were only pretending. And the thing that scared the wellies most was someone would not play the pretending game. Because if one person stopped playing, it was as if he had taken his ball and gone home, and no one could play the game at all anymore. When Oliver came to see Miss Victoria, oh best beloved, she did not want to hear about any sort of fake tanks. She shouted that Oliver was not playing pretend, and she attempted to run away. That made Oliver very embarrassed. He needed to talk to Miss Victoria, but if she ran away, it would be very hard to talk to her. So he did the first thing that came into his head, indeed the only thing, which was a kidnapping. When Oliver was a child, he had read uh, Robert Louis Stevenson's Kidnapped, and he had decided to grow up to be a pirate. But now he was behaving piratically. With an actual proper lady thrown over his shoulder like a screaming sack of potatoes, he did not like it at all. He felt far too much like he had, like he had when he had lived in the village many years ago, and the bad man began to appear on every television screen. But needs must, but needs when the devil drives. What? But needs must when the devil drives, and so piratically, Oliver tied Miss Victoria to a chair and carried her off to be captive in a side room of her own house. Jeez. Okay. Uh, I feel like we'll take a break here. We'll find the joy, and then we'll come back and probably use it to, like, uh, not torture, but, like, get information from her. And hopefully that works out. But, uh, yeah. Wish me luck, guys. We'll see you very soon, okay? Take care. Bye for now.